would that you would read that entire chapter. We want to pull forward for our hearing today, 15 through the 17th verses. Second Kings chapter 6, verses 15 through 17. We honor God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We thank God for our preaching ministry. Mom, we went so into our deacon ministry, deaconess, and our medical, to our usher, our music, and also to our, our youth. And again, we still pray and thank God for this day. Mm -hmm. Second Kings chapter 6, and I thought about it. God has shared it with me to review with you. I thought about what has been said this morning and done this morning and bears testimony to what he has given. The sixth chapter, verses 15 through 17. And I really want you to read the entire sixth chapter and meditate on it for. Verse 15 says, and when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, a host come past the city, both with horses and chariots. And the servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes, that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. God's word for God's people. Two minutes. He asked the question emphatically, can you see the horses and chariots? Can you see the horses and chariots? In spite of what we're going through, in spite of what's going on around us. Yeah. Sickness and disease and death and plots attempts at overflow of the very government. Can you see the horses and the chariots? This young man had an issue. He could only see what it was before. Yeah. But we have to go beyond what is physical and realize that we still serve a God yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. that's able to do all things but fail. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the question remains, I don't want to dare take the tail and ask, you turn and ask nobody. You said to yourself, it's an inward rhetorical question. Can you see yes, the horses? And the chair. Second King continued the song that was of two nations headed for captivity. Nineteen consecutive evil kings had ruled in Israel, leading to the captivity by Assyria. The picture of the somewhat writer in Judah, where godly kings occasionally emerge to reform the evils of their predecessors. In the end, however, sin outweighs righteousness, and Judah is marched off to Babylon. Yeah. Look at the thought. Can you see the horses and the chariots? Horses and chariots are uh, referred to uh, more than the physical horse and the physical chariot. It refers to more than
in the mere seen. It more categorically refers to God's protecting and sustaining power and his omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient ability to deliver you out of your encircled situation. Oh yeah, I was watching the news and listening to folks who had their own businesses and because of the pandemic, they had to shut out. But listening to folks that had good jobs. And because of the pandemic, they lost their job, they've been furloughed, they have lost their income, and then they can't even uh, 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 receive any supplemental income. All of us have time and situations that seem to encompass us, surround us. We are here then. We are surrounded on every side. We are pressed down. Sometimes we are perplexed by what's going on. Yeah. Things seem to block us in, cut us off, and place a strangle hold on us. In this course in time, Israel was the object of warfare. Plans were made by the king of Syria. He desired to place his army in a strategic position and attack Israel as they passed that way. In other words, the plan was to ambush uh, Israel as they passed that way. If you go back and look at the beginning of the sixth chapter, you'll read the story of how Elisha uh, made the axe head flow. They were out there in a building process and the axe head fell off the handle and fell in the water out of place and couldn't do any good. Elisha uh, took a piece of pot of wood and, 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 and touched it down in the water and the axe head flow. Then the word came back that Syria was making plans to attack Israel on their journey. But look, did Syria realize that God was in charge of them. And everywhere they went, he was in charge. And that every thought he knew. Therefore, every bad plan they made, God related it to Elisha. Who told the king of Israel, who then changed his plans and avoided this disaster by sending them the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this troubled the king of Syria. And he saw among his servants for a spy to find out who was helping Israel. One of his servants told him, said, It's not us. But it's Elisha the prophet in Israel who told Israel what you're speaking in your bedchamber. King of Syria sent spies to look for Elisha that they might bring him back, and they found him in Dothan. Therefore, the king of Syria sent horses and chariots, a great host. They came by night and circled the city. They cut off everything. Nobody could get in the city. And nobody could get out of the city. And when the servant of Elisha had gotten up early that morning and gone forth, he saw mm, the host that had come past the city. He saw they had been encircled on every side with horses and chariots. And the servant said to Elisha, what shall we do? How are we going to get out of this mess? We are, we are coming up on every side. And then if you look at the text in verse 16, uh, Elijah declared confidence in God. I have, I've got faith and hope. Uh, don't you know that they that be with 
us are more than they that's with them. In other words, I've got confidence, young man, that God is able. I, I, I fall back on the rock. Yeah. Hebrew boy said, God, we serve. Is an able God. He's able to save us from our situation. And as a matter of fact, if he does not save us, it's not because he cannot save us. Uh, and I decided to hold back on what Job said. Yeah. Job said, I, I'm going to wait right here yeah, until my change comes. Uh, as a matter of Uh, and Daniel said, uh, I'm going to keep on praying uh, like I always have. Because uh, the God said, uh, is an able God. Yeah, yeah, he said, don't worry. Uh, they that be with us uh, is more uh, than they that be with me. Uh, I come as a donkey uh, to tell you right now. Uh, they that be with us. Uh, and more ha, than they that be with them. Ha, he, he, he's more ha, than they that try to tear us down. Ha, he's more ha, than they that try to turn us around. Ha, he's more ha, than they that try to rip us off. Ha, yes, ha, I'm claiming ha, victory ha, in God. Ha, we underestimate ha, the God we live beneath our potential of what God really knew that victory in God. You have not because we ask not or we ask a myth. Ain't God all right? Just a little faith.
destroys your enemy. He stomped huh? horses of speed. Huh? Yeah, huh? horses of speed. Huh? Jesus, huh? he'll come in a hurry. Huh? Oh, Lord.
You can feel your head with all the time. Man. Keep you hooked up on all kinds of stuff. But you need to let go. Because somebody, they said, Leon, you look like you're going to surgery with gloves and bags. I said, yeah, I have a hazmat suit. I'm wearing it too. But that ain't gonna stop me from making my way to the church. So I invite you to accept him as you say. Come a part of the fellowship. Look how past. Look how past the line for food and all the way. Look, who would have thought that in 2020 folks would be lining up to get boxes of food? To feed their family. Look past all that. And see the horses and the chair of deliverance, of divine mercy that God has for us. Those are the invitations of the Lord.